Hello ladies, thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you for stopping by Conversations with Leslie. Today, this is going to be a video on iLab and uh, a pair of glasses that I bought. Um, I actually bought my glasses at Target, but then I went to iLab to get my um, prescription put in the glasses. And the reason why I did that to make it a little bit more affordable because um, yeah, I was paying actually cash for these, uh, so this was not through insurance or anything. So the lady at iLab kind of like gave me this really good deal. So I was like, okay, sure. So, but I wanted to come on and just tell you guys about my experience with iLab. I Googled after my experience just to see if anybody else had said anything, if they've had any issues with iLab or if they've ever gone to an iLab and this and that happened or whatever. But anyway, listen up guys, um, just so that you will be aware because I was not aware. I didn't see anything online. I didn't see anyone that had made a video and said, you know, look out for this. So I thought I would come on and make a really quick video. It won't be long because um, there's really no need to make it really long. I just want to tell you my experience with iLab. So I'm really not going to go into detail on the glasses. I love the glasses. I actually got the glasses. I, excuse me. I purchased them at uh, Target. I do want to show you the glasses because they are really cute. Um, they, and they got a little smudge in them. But these are the glasses. And they are Coach glasses. I purchased these at um, Target. And I purchased these glasses for, uh, these Coach glasses were 200. They were 190 something, but they were 200. So yes, they are very cute. They are very cute on. I absolutely love the glasses. It's a smear in there, but I love the glasses. So we're, this review is not on the glasses itself. It's on my experience with iLab, getting my eye exam done there. Okay, I'm just now making this video because I just got my glasses yesterday. Uh, I actually bought these glasses two months ago. Yeah, can you believe it? I bought them two months ago. My prescription was not correct the first time that they put in, so I had to go back. And believe it or not, it takes them, they tell you that it takes about three weeks before you get your glasses. And when they say three weeks, they mean three weeks. You're not going to get those glasses, not a day before. And I think they only ship to their store on Mondays. I think it's some kind of shipping way that they ship. But anyway, I'm going to put the glasses down because the review is on iLab, not my beautiful glasses, because I absolutely love them. And like I said, I purchased these about two months ago, but I'm just not able to wear them. Yesterday, I wore them all day and they seem to, um, they seem to work for me. They weren't uh, like the first time when I got the prescription. The first time I got the prescription, I could not see at all out of them. And so that's what I want to talk to you guys about. I don't know if you've ever gone to iLab and got an eye exam before, but they really target you uh, with really good deals. So I went online and I was looking for somewhere to get an eye exam. And so I got a really good deal. The guy got me in really quick. It was on a Saturday, which what was really good because, you know, when you work Monday through Friday, it's kind of hard to get in during the week. So I got in on a Saturday and when I got there, you know, everything was fine. It looked just like your regular uh, eye doctor, you know, nothing different. You know, when you first walk into the place, you see all the glasses. And so the guy was really nice. He greeted me and he had me fill out the paperwork and he's like, do you have an appointment? And I was like, yes, I do. I have an appointment. Um, I think it was like noon or something. And so he's like, okay, cool. What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. So he took all my information. He said, are you gonna be paying cash? Are you using your insurance? And I told him, I said, I'll be paying cash. And so uh, he was like, okay. So, you know, got all that. He put all my stuff in the computer. And then he went on to take these little tests with my eyes, look in the back of my eye, uh, you know, look at just different things in my eyes. We did that. And then he said, uh, as soon as the doctor's ready, I'll let you know. So, and you can have a seat here. So I had a seat and it was probably like maybe five or ten minutes and then he said okay the doctor's ready for you so he took me into a room 
and it's all computerized. So I was like, okay, this is neat. You know, kind of was my first uh, thought. And then he came in with me and he was like, he was just kind of uh, putting the, the deal, you know, that you look through. He was putting that close to my face and saying, get comfortable, put your purse here. And I think I had some coffee. So he was like, put your coffee there. And um, he stood there until the doctor came on the screen. And so it was a, a doctor. And you could tell she was in her home because one part of her wall was, I think, blue or green. And then the other wall, kind of like my place, the other wall was a different color. But anyway, you could definitely tell it was, she was at home doing that eye exam online, basically, uh, video by video. And so she was friendly. She's very friendly. And she's like, uh, can you tell me, you know, kind of like what they do when you have an actual doctor there. Oh, excuse me. So, oh, excuse me. I apologize for that. <laughs> so she was like, um, okay, tell me, what do you see? Can you see clear out of here? Can you see? I mean, she did all the, the normal things that if an actual doctor was in the office, but it was through the computer. And all this time I'm thinking, I hope my prescription is correct. Cause how does she really know? Or, you know, I don't, I don't really know how this works. So. I'm thinking, I really hope this is going to be good, you know, a good experience. Um, it wasn't a bad one, the whole process. It was just kind of, to me, a little impersonal. And it felt like, is this what we're going to? Interesting, you know, because I know you can see some doctors online like that. So I was like, okay, cool, first time. So really just no, no issues, you know. So she did her test and she was going, now I will tell you one thing, she was going really, really fast. And I was like, okay, can she slow down? I just told her I couldn't see out of that one. And before you know it, something else popped up. And she's like, can you see out of this one? Can you see out of that one? Can you see out of this one? And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, sister. You, first of all, you're going too fast. I'm not really sure which one I can see out of. Very good, slow down. And then um, that was pretty much that experience. And then I got my prescription and I told them that, no, 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 I got my prescription and I told them thank you. And they were like, oh, you're getting your glasses somewhere else? And I told them, I said, yes, I already uh, picked out a pair of glasses that I want to get. Um, they are actually at Target. So she's like, oh, we can give you a really good deal if you bring your glasses back and um, you allow us to put them in and blah, blah, blah. And I mean, she basically slashed off about $150 off of what I would be purchasing. So I was like, okay, cool. I was like, okay, so I'll go get my glasses and I'll bring them back here. And so I did that and Target was probably about 15 minutes away. So I went to Target, I purchased those glasses, I brought them back. And after that, she told me it'll take about three weeks for them to come back. And I was thinking, are you kidding me? Why on earth will it take three weeks? I'm thinking, what are you gonna do with my glasses? Why is it gonna take three weeks, you know? So I'm like, okay, you know, I just want well, these glasses that are $200. So I give her the glasses and it took them about three weeks and some change, you know, and then they finally gave me a call at the end of the day to tell me that they were ready. So it would be the following day because it was actually at night when they left that voicemail, not at night, but it was later in the day after they left that voicemail. So after- Bluetooth disconnected. I got all kind of things going on around here, don't I? <laughs> okay, so after that, I went to pick up the glasses and I tried them on because he was like, okay, try them on. No, it was a girl there that day. And so I put them on and they were like, it's falling off my eyes. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. They didn't do that when I got bought them at Tar when I was looking at them at Target. I put them back on and I was like, hmm, okay. I mean, I don't really know. So I was like, because... I had worn them so I couldn't tell if I could see out of them or not. So I told um, the lady, I was like, okay. Well, actually the lady was, when I went to pick them up, she was like, I can't find your glasses. It took her like 45 minutes to find my glasses. And so I told her, I said, you have to have them because someone called me. And she was like, yeah, I know. If we left you a voicemail, we have them. I just don't know where they are. And she started calling people on the phone. Anyway, she finally found my glasses. And so I just put them on and left. I didn't really spend a lot of time there because she kind of seemed like she really didn't want to be bothered. 
So I took the glasses home. I did wear them home. And then like by the end of the day, my head was, I had a really bad headache. And I was like, I think these glasses is not my prescription. So I took these off because I still have my old pair that you guys may have seen me in. So I put my old ones on and I was like, well, maybe those will work better because this is some, something is right. So I was like, well, you're never going to know if you don't, if you wear your old ones, you better put these on, try to see what's going on, if you can see or not. So I put them on, I got a sheet of paper and I could not see crap out these glasses. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, what is going on? So I didn't go back the next day I wore them again because I was like well, maybe you just need to get used to something maybe you know because sometimes that's what they'll tell you anyway because I don't want to have to keep going back so I'm like okay wear them a day or two and then see how it works anyway I would take them off because I was getting serious headaches so I took them off and I went back and I told uh it was a guy or was it the girl it was a guy there that time it was a whole different other guy than this guy and so he was he started saying well can you stand at this part can you because I wear progressive and they're bifocals, so, and but they have no line, trust me. They don't got no line, I don't got time for that. Anyway, um, so he told me, he said, well, can you see out of this? You know, he did his little things that he could do. And then I told him, I said, I can't see out of them at all. They are, I told him, I said, I have another pair. So he was like, okay, uh, he said, the doctor is here and we'll just have him, you know, see what's going on. So there was an actual doctor there that day and I won't mention this doctor's name. He was a little cute Chinese guy. And so he was like, he's, and when I got in there, when it was my turn to see him, I was like, oh my God, all right, when are you here? I didn't, you know, I, I told him, honestly, I didn't know that I would not see a doctor. I didn't know I would be on a video the first time. And so he was like, oh yeah, he said, I get that from everybody. Um, he said, and I, he said, yeah, that, that's everybody. They want, you know, to see the doctor. And I'm like, of course you're paying your money. You don't know that you're going to be doing this by video. This is like me at home having you switch in and out of different, how they do. I don't know how this all happens, but it was a horrible experience because it took so long to get my glasses and having to wait on them and then they be the wrong ones and then having to go back and then the reason why I put this video up is because to backtrack the day that I went back to recheck the glasses to tell them I couldn't see other ones they gave me there were so many people in there saying I can't see out of my contacts I can't see out of I'm like everybody's like it's like people knew when the doctor would be there. I had no idea. I had literally had no idea that they even had a doctor there. The day that I went there, I, I just happened to get the doctor. He was in the office. And so, yeah, there were people. I didn't say anything to anyone, but there were a couple of ladies that had contacts. It was not glasses, but they were like, I can't see out of these things. And then people were coming in and I'm like, well, this is a trend. <laughs> So that's why I thought I would come on and make this video about iLab because I Googled, I YouTube, but no one had it. I didn't see any reviews. I didn't see anything saying that it was an actual like um, video that you're getting your eyes checked. I guess maybe, it. I don't know. Yeah, but it's it was a very weird experience and I will never ever go back because I don't want my doctor to be not checking my eyes and maybe it wouldn't be as bad if your glasses was ready in a week and then if they didn't work you could take them back and it wouldn't be but two weeks but having to wait a whole two months for a pair of glasses is absolutely crazy it wasn't even worth the discount that they gave me I literally in the middle of this I wanted to just ask them don't even put I wanted to just call and say, you know what? Just give me my glasses back. I don't even want you to put the lenses in them because it was such an horrible, because it took so long. And then the first time I took them back, the first guy was trying to upsell me. He's like, well, maybe you can't see out of them because do they have this in them and do they have that? And I'm like, dude, I ain't giving you, uh-uh. I've already waited a whole month for the first time 
and then I have to wait a whole nother month for the neck. I was like, dude, no. He's like, well, maybe it's because of this and that and the other. And I was getting so upset. And I knew when my glasses came back, I wanted to have them in my hands. I'm like, I'm going to do this video because maybe other people don't know or you've never experienced that. If you have, let me know. You, I know that I'm not the only one because when I was in that office, there were people coming in there by the groves saying that they had the wrong with their glasses or their contacts weren't working. And they were so happy to see the doctor. And I guess they call and ask is probably what they do. I didn't do that. I just happened to go in there and the doctor was there. And uh, like I said, I won't mention his name. He was a sweet little doctor. Um, and like I said, he told me, he was like, yeah, everybody tells me that. They're happy to see me. And I'm thinking, is this what the world is coming to? That we got to be happy to see that the doctor's in the office, that we're not going to be on by video? I'm like, this is crazy. So I didn't know that I, I maybe that's what iLab, that's the whole meaning of the whole iLab situation. Because I realized that they are like in every city. They're everywhere. Um... See, and I think they're like franchise owned or something. And I just want to tell you and warn you, you will not, or if you want the actual doctor, make sure that when you make the appointment, there will be a doctor there and you won't be being, uh, having your eye exam done by a person that's no telling where in their living room doing a eye exam on you. I was... But like I said, at first, now if my if my glasses had been perfect the first time, I wouldn't have even cared. It would have been a good price. Everything would have been fine. But when they came back and it took so long to get them, it was like, uh-uh, I'm never doing that again. And I like to just tell people my experiences when I experience, you know, if it's a good experience or if it's a bad experience. My glasses, I love them because I really like the shape. I like the glasses. I just didn't like the eye exam at iLab. So beware if you do go to, because they have great deals, especially if you are paying cash and you're not using insurance. They have awesome deals. So just be careful and make sure that you ask if the doctor will be in or will you be doing this by video. If you're going to be doing it by video, I would say don't do it. To be honest with you, I hate to say that, but I probably wouldn't go to them at all. I won't go to them again. But if I was a new person and I had to tell you about them, I would probably say not to go unless this is just a pair of glasses that you really, you can wait a month or so on. I mean, yeah, I don't know. To, to, to be honest, I would say don't do it. So that's my experience with iLab. If you've had any similar experiences, please leave me a message. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and tell me what, you know, have you ever been to an iLab before? Have you ever had that experience? Did you have, did you go to them and your glasses was not the correct, um, glass, uh, glasses or did you go to them and everything turned out perfect? You know, I'm pretty sure they probably don't get all of them wrong, but they got enough because that day, there were so many people coming in saying the same thing. Yeah, so bad experience. Don't go. <laughs> That's pretty much what I have to say about them is don't go. I wouldn't recommend it. Alrighty, bye guys. Bye.